Hey everybody, it's Blazy903. If you're new to the channel, please hit like and smash that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share with you the five things I hate about my brand new Honda Civic Touring Trim. But before I get started, I'm wanting to share that I almost did not make this video. And the reason for that was because I was having a difficult time and outright struggling with identifying five things that I truly hated about this car. So I, in my opinion, was unable to come up with five things that I hated, but rather things that I dislike or things that could be done a little bit better. None of these five things were the turn for me to buy the car. This is a phenomenal vehicle and I'm making this video for those persons that are exploring this vehicle as an option to buy. Um, maybe you can look at these things, maybe they'll be a deterrent for you, but at the very least there'll be something for you to keep your eyes on, something for you to look out to see if you can live with or if it's a deal breaker. That's totally up to you. So with that said, let's get right into it and start this video. No, I don't see it from this angle. Let me see. Nothing here either. Let me try this view. No, no, not here either. Well, I guess none of the five things I hate about this vehicle include the exterior. So let's go ahead inside. And again, I would like to emphasize that these five things are truly just areas of opportunity. Really not a big deal because for what this car is and for what the value that it brings and the comfort, the durability and reliability that the car brings for the price point, it's really difficult to come up with five things that I dislike or quote unquote hated about this particular vehicle. But... I will say that my number five thing that I dislike is, as I was researching the car, I was looking at all the YouTube videos and I saw something that I thought was pretty cool, pretty cool technology. But for the 2018s and the 2019s, this option was taken away and that is the gesture feature on and off. And the gesture feature is you can swipe to increase the volume and swipe down to decrease the volume. That feature has been taken away from the 2018s and 2019s. Now, before you blow up the comment section and say that there is a gesture feature in the infotainment, I can guarantee you that that feature has been removed. So if you watch videos and you see them swipe up like this and swipe down like this to control the volume, that feature is not available. You will simply have to tap, 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 not a big deal. You can keep your thumb on the plus sign and it will increase in volume rather quickly. You could do the same thing for the volume decrease and it does decrease rather quickly. Um, I understand that a lot of people did not like that it didn't have a volume knob and it has this slider. Not a big deal because here's the mute button. Not a big deal at all because I really don't use the slider at all. I pretty much just use these controls here and they do work rather quickly. And the fourth thing I dislike about this vehicle is that it does not have a lumbar support. Now, again, I cannot emphasize this enough. These five things aren't deal breakers. They were actually just things that I have grown accustomed to throughout the years with the different vehicles that I've purchased. And this being the top trim level, I would have thought that it came with a lumbar support as other vehicles in this class do come with lumbar support. However, I will say that I'm five foot eight, 165 pounds, and the way the seats are contoured and bolstered, it is very comfortable just as it is. However, it would be nice to have that extra level of flexibility with the lumbar support. And the third thing I dislike about this vehicle is the climate control. Although it does have dual AC and heating control with sync, which sound very nice and feel like they're quality, in order to adjust the fan speed and the mode, you have to hit that button and then on the screen adjust accordingly as well as the modes 
I believe that, that is an extra step and it would be much easier to go back and just have a knob like most vehicles in the market currently have. And for the second thing I dislike about this vehicle, I have to step into the back seats. So taking into account who is the targeted buying group for this vehicle and those are typically the younger generation or those persons with a small family I would have thought that this vehicle would have USB ports in the back but it doesn't now I will say that there's quite a few USB ports in the front of the vehicle you can buy long enough wire to entertain the kids in the back but it would be more convenient to simply have them located around this area here and the number one thing I dislike about this vehicle is the lack of rear AC vents nowhere in the back will you find rear AC vents however Honda took the time of adding this very nice luxury style feature of rear heated seats now given the choice I personally would have chosen rear AC vents over rear heated seats and the reason for that is because this is still considered a luxury touch rear AC vents in my opinion are not a luxury but rather a necessity so that is the reason why I rank this as the number one thing I dislike about my brand new Honda Civic Touring Sedan and now that I've shared the five things that I hate or rather dislike about this vehicle I will tell you that I've spent quite a bit of time researching YouTube and the internet for that matter to find out what people are saying what owners are saying about their vehicles and as per YouTube videos that I've seen with the five things that they hate about this particular vehicle I will tell you that the commonality that I have found is that if you purchase a higher trim level you will have less areas of concern which is exactly why I bought the touring model so the touring model gives you all the bells and whistles that Honda gives and offers to the Civic so as a direct result, I really struggled with coming up with five things that I disliked. So those five things that I mentioned in this video, absolutely not a deal breaker. I absolutely can easily live with it. And stay tuned for the five things that I love about this vehicle. And with that said, I had an absolute blast making this video for you. I had an absolute blast learning more about the vehicle. And till the next one, drive safely.